Phil Jackson, uh, I had a chance to, you know, re read through his memoir, and obviously that was written. Which one? For, for the, <laughs> the, the last season. Yeah. Uh, that was written preceding, you know, him returning yeah. to the Lakers. But I mean, at one point he uh, apparently, you know, says to the then Lakers GM, "Look, if Kobe's." back next year, I'm not coming back. Yeah. Uh, obviously the relationship's since been repaired, but when it was kind of fractured the most, what were the factors you think were responsible for that? I think the, 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 the most challenging things that he, for him in, in dealing with our group, and he had a couple, and, and one of them being the dynamic between myself and Shaquille, mm -hmm. and you know him having to deal with that relationship and, um, you know, kind of keeping me, you know, at arm's distance so that in turn it can bring him closer to Shaq. And then the other thing, he's just dealing with a young horse, race horse, that wanted to get to an elite level as an individual player and establish himself in the league. So he had to deal with those, you know, that balancing act. And, um, and you know, we both were extremely stubborn, all three of us. You know, Phil's extremely stubborn, so is Shaq, and so am I. So, you know, we, we, it was very, very difficult for him to find that balance. And I think he became frustrated because he couldn't figure out a way to really reach me. And um, Why do you think that was? Well, because I told him, I said, Phil, if, if you want me to do something, just tell me. You don't have to go around the corner, drive around the block, and then kind of circle back around to your point and then kind of slide it in. Just tell me. Just tell me what it is you want me to do. And he kind of... I think that was a little different for him. He's not a guy that really likes confrontation. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of like subtle, subtly slipping messages in there where uh, for me it's just like, just tell me what it is you want. Don't insult my intelligence by trying to mm -hmm. backdoor in there. I'm starting to smile because I was shocked in his book. He said he was like seeing a therapist to talk about, you know, just that, how to deal with that sort <laughs> yeah, of team I, dynamic. I mean, I was just like, just tell me. How do you go about rebuilding a relationship like that, especially one that then goes on to have that much more success? Well, you don't carry baggage with you. You know, you have to you have to drop it and let it let it go and move on. And, and once you decide to come back and you call me and you know we spoke, we didn't have to address any of the issues. We were both of the same belief that you move on from the past. And you know, once you make the decision to move forward that's exactly what you're doing is moving forward and not addressing the past. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.